Hi, hi, I um, I finally got the gas line run. It, it was in kind of a, took me a few, oh, several days of looking at it. And 20 or 30 times each time I couldn't figure out where exactly where I wanted to run it. I didn't, I don't, didn't want to run it where original. And I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> Okay, originally, ouch, they run it right here behind this to go on the side of the frame. So it's right in behind all this uh, inner fender and underneath here. And I d was not going to do that. So I, uh, yeah, they run it right original one runs right here right right where my finger right where my finger is right here up into there where it goes on the side of the frame right so anyway this is this is original where they ran it so anyway I ran it through here and then I'd put it in there and you can see it going up there and then down here what a hell of a job got to get through that. But anyway, um, it, uh, yep, that's, and it goes back there. I'll show that to you in a minute. But anyway, it's, um, and it misses the edges of all the, uh, edge of the frame. And I might, there's a hole right here, so I might build a little bracket to bolt it. Plus, I'll put twist ties around it. And there, and up there on the uh, emergency brake cable. So, up here in the front... <clears throat> This is, this is my old one. So anyway, this is uh, where I got it rooted. It's, um, it, there's a hole right here, so I'm gonna put a bracket on it. And I didn't want it down here. That's where they bolt it, right here. And across, and it just misses these things. That goes up five inches at that end, which is only like quarter, half an inch, or so here so it doesn't go up and this does not this does not go up in there it goes maybe a boat level so <clears throat> anyway I got a little too much line sticking out because I managed to put a little dent in it in a spot where I didn't like it so I pushed the pipe through a little bit farther but I'll have to cut this off when I figure out what I'm gonna put on it for a flex line or a rubber line but that, anyway, I, it's going to be bolted up here. Right now, I'll leave it loose so I can move it around. But this one comes out. In original, they ran it right up here and in behind the shock and up and around that motor, that body mount on the other side and then up in the frame up there to hook on to the gas tank and awful hard place to, to do it. So I, I didn't, I put it here and I didn't want to run it right here. I could have, but I didn't. I put it up in here and it misses and it's bolted. And it, it, there's a hole up here in the frame, which I'll put a clamp. But I'm not going to cut it off till I know where my sending unit's going to be because I don't have my gas tank in here yet. So anyway, that can just hang there. But anyway, the gas load is all in, and I uh, see I got a weld a hole here. I cut, I trimmed it out with the shears, but um, the bottom of this bracket I already blew the dirt out. But anyway, I had to weld two patches on here, and my muffler hanger 
cracked and dropped it down so it hits on the frame. So I'd pull that up and put a new rubber on it. But I'm actually ready to start undercoating. But I wanted this gas, this gas line really haunted me. But anyway, now that I got it in, I could, uh, Yep. <clears throat> so anyway, now that I got the gas line finally, finally on, now now I can um, fix that little bit of welding, and then I can undercoat. I'm kind of looking forward to undercoating, um, because. It, mind you, um, it's going to be messy, but what I'm looking forward to is the, um, <clears throat> what's that word, uh, pro production, like when I start spraying, I'll see instantly that something is working, <laughs> because I'm, I've wasted quite a bit of time thinking, and it's kind of depressing, but anyway, I'm kind of, I bit the bolt today and just I went for it and I put that gas line in where I figure I want it. Um, anyway, uh, see you later.